38 years ago, Michael Sharp, now 71 years old, allegedly sexually assaulted four women ranging in age from 24 to 30, each from a different city and town. In all four attacks, Sharp is accused of showing a gun while breaking into their homes. In fact, Sharp was the CEO of a former Connecticut charter school and was later fired for lying about his criminal background, having pleaded guilty to an embezzlement case while working in California. The Connecticut case eventually went cold since the state's statute of limitations expired. Since then, the four women have been living with the nightmare. Located. She might be able to sleep three hours a night now instead of two. Uh, another one said it was one of the reasons she never got married. But two years ago, investigators using new genealogy technology leading to Sharp's arrest. We were able to find a bag of garbage that he had put out at the curb and therefore abandoned that garbage. Um, it contained documents that had his name. It also had some belts. We never saw him wear the belts or anything like that, but we submitted those for testing. Two forensic analysts who examined the evidence back then testified at the trial Thursday, saying they found bodily fluids, blood, and forms of body hair on items such as sheets, a towel, and a washcloth. Despite the evidence collected, it was not strong enough to convict Sharp at the time. Distant family members submitted their DNA to genealogy sources, giving their consent to investigators to use. Investigators then sent the newly found genealogy DNA to the lab. The results eventually led them to Sharp. This trial could last six to seven days, and then the jury will start deliberating. If he is convicted, Sharp could face 100 years behind bars. In Hartford, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.